Hello and welcome to the 20th episode in my Minecraft uh, Nostalgic Let's Play series in version beta 1.6.6. Uh, you have to forgive the little impromptu uh, opening here. I was actually doing some uh, work offline, so say off camera, so to speak, and I came across a wolf. And as you'll know from our last episode, we have some problems with wolves. So I'm going to see if I can tame one of the two bones I have on me. No. No. Okay. I'll be right back, Mr. Wolf. Do not go anywhere. I'm going to go get, like, the seven bones I have saved up. He's going to despawn by the time I get back, and I'm not even going to bother with calling it Wolf Conspiracy Episode 3, because... It's just not fun anymore. I'm not gonna lie. It's just sad. He's gonna be gone. I know it. Oh, there he is. Please, please be my friend. Please, Wolfie. Yes! Oh my god. Wow. It took forever, but I now have a tamed wolf. And he's gonna come and live in my house. And then I'm gonna finish what I was doing off camera. I was so glad. I was tempted to just try and tame him without starting recording, but I was like, no, what if it actually works? Excuse me, I've got hiccups now out of excitement. He's fallen in the river. Well, okay. If we move far enough ahead, he'll teleport like that. He got stuck in a fence block. Oh well. Anyway, let's take him to my house. That sounds a bit creepy. Let's put him in my house. His follow logic is a bit... Beta, let's put it that way. Can he get through the door? Yes, he can. Now sit there and do not move your canine ass. Anyway, I'll continue in a moment. And I'm back. Um, uh, one little thing. You know it took us ages to get one wolf. There's now another wolf outside and I'm going to see if I can tame it with these five bones. Fingers crossed. Wow, it only took one. He is a proper moron, though. But okay. We went in the space of three minutes. C come in, please. We went... In come in. Oh, this one's special. Yep, yeah, in. In. No, just come in, you... Special idiot. Let's push him. We went in the space of uh, five minutes from having no wolves to having two. They're like buses. Um, right. I did do some mining while I was offline, as well as chopping down some trees. Oh, I'm now going to be deafening now. Um, and I've got quite a lot of stuff, if not going to lie. I have dug a kind of a hole here. Oh, I want to push the pig down it. Come on. Come on. Down down, down the hole. No. Stop running. Stop running. Oh, he died. Idiot. Anyway, yeah, I've dug a big hole. Um, in addition to my mine, where I did some strip mining. Um, I've set up a little mining station down here. Um, where I'm collecting all my resources. Because I've got a lot of cobblestone. Um, it's still a profitable mine. Um, I've been getting more out of it than I've been putting in, so I'm happy with that. It's a massive strip mine, not gonna lie. We can actually retrieve these. We don't really need those. But yeah. I did only get two diamonds from it, though. So... That's not ideal. But hey-ho. We can't win them all. But yeah, that's what I've been doing offline. Uh, I have, in fact, started clearing the top of the hill uh, where I tamed the wolf at the start of the episode. Um, it's going to be another short episode, hopefully, this one. Um, I'm just going to extend the pathway over there because that is where I want to build a mill and maybe a granary building, or maybe that'll be the same thing. Um, just as a, a place where we can like build more farms around um, and have, like... I know what I mean, that's not very helpful to you guys, but I want the ability to have it almost 
a little bit of realism behind you too. So um, what we are, are going to need is first of all, I'm running very low on armor, so I need a full new set of armor. And just the chest plate left to do. There we are. Okay, so realistically, I've got a lot of gold now. I'll have to do something with that. Um, my mining trip basically got me a, a set of armor. But at least I shouldn't need to eat so much anymore. Good job I did get that wolf, otherwise he'd be attacking those sheep. There. So let's go to sleep, barking at the sunset. Now in reality there is actually quite a beautiful sunset right now in reality. I'm recording this about uh, quarter to five in the evening here in London. Okay, so what are we going to need? We're going to need some gravel and some stairs because we're going to have to go up quite a bit and we're going to make some more stairs actually because I know for a fact we will be going up a hill. There we are, 16 should be plenty. So let's go extend the pathway up the hill. It's so nice to be able to walk places without jumping. In this version of the game, I, n I never use it because I grew up without it, but auto jump is a thing. Um, if you just walk up to a block like that, you'll jump. I personally don't like it. I think it's ridiculous because it never quite jumps at the right time that you want it to. Okay, let's fill this in and keep on going up. Start with they're not at any regular interval, I'm just putting torches wherever there are stairs. Nicely lit. And these sheep are becoming a nuisance. But anyway, um, I am going to actually place down some foundations. Now actually I am going to grab my four bones, I know it probably won't be enough, but you never know. Ooh. You stay there. And uh, it, even if it is enough, I doubt the wolf is still over there. But let's go find out. Jesus Christ, quiet down, they literally must have just spawned there. this wolf. He was over here. Let's see if he's despawned or not. Probably has. 
probably like despawned on the same tick that that lot spawned. Now, I don't know if that's even vaguely circular, but um, that's, the, that's the layout I want. That was clever. So yeah, uh, I may do some construction offline, but I may not. So yeah, you never know. But first of all, our main task is to decide where up here our path will go. So where the entrance is going to be. I want the entrance to be here, this block here. It's going to have a little sticky out bit. So um, I don't want it to have a set of steps I'm right in front of the entrance. I want them there. So let's make some. Yeah, in this version of the game, if you mine cobblestone stairs, you just get regular stairs back. It's another lovely feature. Ah. Made me jump then. Ow. Thank you. Appreciate the feather, my friend. Ah, you bastard. Ah, you bastard. Ah, you bastard. Ah, you bastard. Missed. And I'll take your bones and your arrow. Don't see anything else. For... Ooh, there's a lot. Let's get these guys. Ooh. Worth it. Don't do much combat, but that'll do. Just want to get this bit finished. Now I just need to dig up these six. Perfect. And now let's go home via this spider. Let's take out this bloke here. Bone. That's what I wanted. And let's go home. I think we'll call the episode there. We've made quite a bit of progress on our little world. Is there a spider in the water? Fuck off. Waste of space. But yeah. Let's uh, take out the creeper. We don't want you hanging around. Let's have a look at the mushroom farm, actually. Perhaps harvest... Oh, Christ. <laughs> I've grown a lot. The um, brown ones seem to be growing a lot better than the red ones. Imagine if they spread out the door. Oh, my inventory's full. Um... some tidying. Okay, yep, I'm gonna have you... Jesus Christ, that's actually gonna get annoying. I'm gonna have to build like a dog house or something. But anyway, that's something to add to the list, perhaps in the next version. Um, and we could have maybe an entranceway controlled by pistons. I think that would look quite good. But anyway, Thank you very much for watching this episode of Minus Topic Minecraft Let's Play. I've been Puddle Luck, and I'll see you next time.